Well, I met Tanner then when they were wheeling him into the NICU as a newborn. So I've seen him ever since he was born, and, and he's been a very, very complex kid ever since he was born. He was premature, had Down syndrome, had a cleft palate, and had a very severe heart um, malformation. And so he was a really complex kid from the get-go. Probably about two years ago, mm. um, he mm. really, really was into SpongeBob mm. a couple of years ago. And SpongeBob is a fry cook, mm. and he always carries a spatula. And uh, he 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 started like grabbing just random mm. objects when he would watch SpongeBob. Bah. And my husband's like, I think bah. he thinks that that's bah. a spatula. And so he, he went and got a spatula out of the drawer, and, and Tanner's like, oh, oh, like, and that was it. That was it. He always, he just has to have it all the time. All the time. Goes everywhere. Can you show me spat? <laughs> he uses it to turn lights on and off because he's kind of short. Um, he uses them to shut cupboard doors. Mm. This mm. summer he went to South Dakota with us. Yep. Um, mm. Did everything, went everywhere with us. Are you going to be holding a spat in the commercial that you're playing Tanner in? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> to have something in their hands, something that makes them feel comfortable. They feel uh, that as long as that object is with them, that uh, everything's going to be okay. Mm. I took him into urgent care in Alaska. And um, they don't know him there. Um, but Dr. Ducharme and her, her nurse never, never laid eyes on him before, I don't think. Tanner held out spat and wanted his O2 sat checked. They didn't, they didn't even blink. Oh, well, of course we'll do that. But when he came in for routine checkup, all of a sudden he had his little buddy along. And... Uh, so we just incorporated spats into the whole routine of checking them out, checking ears, checking heart, um, checking tummies, all the things we do with the kids, we do with their special objects, and that's exactly what we did with Tanner and Spat. It was just so important, like right in that moment, that that's what they needed to do. And they just did it naturally, without even thinking. We learned early on uh, how to uh, accommodate children because children are not going to uh, know what they're supposed to be doing. They're simply going to act in the way that they feel comfortable. I think making people comfortable and making people well goes hand in hand and that's something that we really need to keep married together. And if there's a positive feeling within the organization that working for patients comfort and making people feel at home and feel cared for in addition to feeling like they're getting good quality medical care that that really is what we should be striving for